Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be making our second forecast for Winter Storm Maya. We're going to be talking about this one. It's still a ways out, but we do have some clearer things coming into the picture now. Models are starting to agree a little bit more, and we kind of know where this one's going to go. Now we're going to be looking at our ECMWF model for our precipitation type forecast here. And you can see we're starting out Sunday night, early, early, early Monday, and you can see there's some snow showers starting to come into the area of Pennsylvania, West Virginia. Uh, but really we have some moderate snow for Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. We're going to move on 12 hours into the morning on Monday, kind of heading towards the afternoon. You can see all those snow showers have moved into the Ohio, Pennsylvania, Maryland, New Jersey area. We're going to see this kind of linger over the next 12 hours into Monday night. And you can see it's getting a little bit heavier there for Pennsylvania. Central Pennsylvania and North Central Pennsylvania look to kind of get a good look in from this one. Uh, definitely Maryland as well, Northern Maryland. Portions of mountainous Maryland as well going to get a good amount of snow from this one. Uh, and as we move on another 12 hours into Tuesday morning, you can see central Pennsylvania still getting that moderate snow. New Jersey, we're starting to move to where southern New Jersey is switched over to rain at this point. But northern New Jersey and New York City, we're still experiencing snowfall to this point. We're going to move on 12 more hours to Tuesday night, and you can see a lot of us have moved over to kind of a sleety uh, mix of, of rain and snow possibly as well. And uh, this still is going to is gonna be better than just rain for a lot of you. This won't hinder accumulations quite as much as, as pure rain would. So central Pennsylvania, we're still looking pretty good. Northern New Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode Island. We've already got, seen a few inches of snow by this point, so we're all doing fine. Boston, we're over to snow. Upstate New York, we're still getting heavy snow slash sleet. Vermont and New Hampshire, you're also all snow to this point. We're going to move on another 12 hours to kind of Wednesday morning. Wednesday heading towards noontime. You can see New Hampshire, Vermont, upstate New York. We're all still snow to this point, but New York City and Boston has switched over to rain. A lot of Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts has switched over to rain at this point. And the coast of Maine has started to change over to rain to this point. Now, I do expect a, a little bit of the accumulation to kind of be subsided by this point. A lot of the snow on top of there is going to melt from the rainfall, but you still will get a few inches from this one, a lot of southern New England. I wanted to let you guys know that because I know a lot of you have been wondering when you're going to get snow. You're still getting snow. There's just going to be a bit of rain there at the end. The, the amount of rain will really change how much snow you get, though. If you get a lot of rain there at the end, that could really melt a lot of your snowfall, and if you only get a little bit of rain, well, then a lot of your snowfall will stay on the ground. We're going to move on 12 more hours into Wednesday night, Thursday morning time, and you can see there's still some snow lingering there for Maine, but we're basically seeing this snowstorm move out of the picture by Wednesday night. Here's your snowfall forecast according to the ECMWF. Again, New Jersey, you're still going to make out with a couple of inches. I think that since this is snowfall, this doesn't take into account melting. So southern New Jersey, we're still going to be looking at uh, maybe an inch on the ground whereas in northern New Jersey I think we could make out with even above three inches possibly but I think around that three inch mark is going to be kind of uh, where we're going to see what we're going to see for you guys New York City you're going to be right under three inches southern New England same thing for you guys you're going to be in the one to three inch range Boston you could be just above three inches and north of you uh, we start to go up in snowfall totals a lot just because we don't have mixing issues for New Hampshire Vermont upstate New York and Maine now we're going to move on to our next model. This is the ECMWF EPS model, which this is the European Ensemble model. And we can see there is Ensemble support, and this one is going to be a lot more realistic for long range. Uh, and, and it looks the same. A little less high amounts there for, for northern New England, but really a lot of the same story here. Here's your GFS snowfall forecast, and you can see it's quite similar to the ECMWF. Nothing noticeably different. Uh, the amounts all look the same. And here's our official snowfall forecast, and, and you can see some things have changed a little bit, but not too much. Now, one thing in the west that has changed, not a lot has changed in the west, uh, but Chicago, we've upped the amounts to 6 to 10. Uh, you're going to be right around that 6-inch mark for Chicago, it looks like, according to the models, so that's where we have you. And, and some things that have changed for the eastern United States is central and south central Pennsylvania. We've upped you into that 6 to 10 range, whereas it was just northern Pennsylvania at, you know, yesterday in the forecast. We've lowered the amount slightly or up or kind of moved the amounts north for kind of the southern New England and New Jersey, Pennsylvania area just a tad bit. 
uh, but also we've added a 10 to 15 inch range there for northern New England. And that's all the changes that we've looked at so far. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe as we're going to make sure to make multiple updates for this storm for you guys. So if you subscribe, it will show up in your subscription box and you'll be able to stay up to date with this storm as we track it. Also, for future storms, you can subscribe as well and, and we will also do the same thing for future storms. Anyway, guys, stay safe and I look forward to seeing you in the next updated forecast for Winter Storm Maya.